Hey everyone, as always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. Today's video is going to be about GPS trackers. Just a quick overview of what I'm going to be talking about today. So I'm going to cover down on the different categories of GPS trackers. I'm also going to talk about why someone would have a GPS tracker on their vehicle and the benefits that you get, for, that you get from having one. And I'm going to talk about the best tracker based on the amount of money that you want to spend and for what you want to get out of it. Okay, so why have a GPS tracker on your vehicle? Lots of people will assume it's because you possibly want to spy on somebody, and maybe you do. I'm not here to judge you. I'm also not here to encourage you to do anything illegal, so check your state and local laws if that's what you're here for. But there are lots of scenarios where having a GPS tracker could provide you a lot of benefits. One scenario is that you could be out at work, and your family could be out of the park, and you think they're gonna come home before you get home from work. So you come home, but they're still not home yet. So at that point, what can you do if you're worried about it? Well, you can pick up the phone and you can call them and check and see if they answer the phone and if everything's good. If not, you can get your smartphone out and you can simply ask the tracker where it's at. Maybe they just want to go do something else after the park, or maybe the tracker says the vehicle somewhere where you don't understand. So at that point, you have the information, you have more information to make a decision about what you want to do next. Another scenario is that you come out of one of your favorite stores and come to your parking spot and find that your car's missing. So once you get home, or before you get home, if you have a GPS tracker installed on your car, you can take your phone and you can query the GPS tracker and basically ask it where, where it is or where your vehicle is. So at that point, you can either go try to find your vehicle or you can update the law enforcement that your local law enforcement that you know where the vehicle is. I will say that I talked to one of my friends who is a sheriff in one of the local counties in Florida before I filmed this and I said, hey, what happens if I give you the information for where the car is? Should I go look at it or should I just refer back to law enforcement? And what he said was yes, that they would prefer, in the states by the way, that they would prefer that you call your local law enforcement agency and tell them where the vehicle is so they can go send a unit to go see if they can't find who's possibly taking your car. So, one of the benefits for having a GPS tracker installed on your car is that if it's ever stolen, you have a, a good possibility of getting your car back. All right, now that we've talked about some of the reasons someone might want a GPS tracker, or some of the benefits you can get from having a GPS tracker on your vehicle. I want to go ahead and talk about the different types of trackers that you can buy and which one might be the best for you. But before I do, I want to explain for those of you who aren't familiar with them basically what a GPS tracker is. So your standard GPS tracker, essentially all it is, it's a cell phone. That's it. That's all it really is. The easiest way I think to look at this is that if you were to imagine that you had your cell phone on you and someone texts you and says, hey, where are you? And they want a specific location, you say, okay, and you go through and you pull up something like Google Maps and you look at your lat long. You copy your lat long, you go back over to the text message, you copy and paste it in there and you send your lat long to the person who asked you. That is basically how a GPS works. You are sending you are taking your phone and you are sending the GPS unit a text message that says, hey, where are you? The GPS unit looks at, through the GPS puck, it looks at its maps, it says, hey, I'm, I'm here, and it sends a text back to your phone. That is essentially how all GPS trackers work, with the exception to one type of category, which we'll go over. If you've decided that you want to go ahead and buy a GPS tracking unit, there's basically two considerations that you need to make before you buy the unit. The first is, do you want real-time data or do you want historical data? Again, the real-time data is being able to take your cell phone and text the unit and ask it where it's at and immediately get a response for its location. As I previously said, all these are cell phones. So in order to get that real-time data, you have to have cellular service connected to the GPS unit. So you'll need to have a monthly service fee for data for the unit to work. If you don't want to pay a monthly service fee and you don't need real-time data, another device that you can use is called a GPS data logger. Now what the data logger is, it's a small device. 
you take the device, you place it in or on the car, It records everywhere that it's been, and when the car returns, you take the device, you plug it into a computer, and you download all the map data. The next big consideration is power. When you go to purchase a GPS tracker, it will basically come in two different flavors as far as power is concerned. It will either come with its own battery or it will come with some type of harness that you will use to connect to the vehicle's electrical system. There are pros and cons to each of these setups. To figure out which one is the best for you, really you have to ask yourself, what are you trying to get out of the tracker? What do you want to do with it? Do you want to track the vehicle for as long as you own it? Or do you just need to track the vehicle for a short period of time? If you need to track the vehicle for a short period of time, a battery-powered GPS tracking unit is probably the best bet. They are very easy to install. With this particular model, I have a case for it. You set up the GPS tracker, you put it in the case, you close it up. This is a waterproof case. It has a magnet on the back of it. You simply put it under your car. and it will feed you information for as long as the battery is charged. Now when the battery runs out, you have to go back and pull it back out from under the car and recharge it and get it ready to place back in the car if you want to track it again. Now if you don't want to deal with removing the tracker, going to charge it, putting it back, and you want to track a vehicle for as long as you own your vehicle, then you're probably going to want a GPS tracker that connects to the vehicle's electrical system. The only thing with these types of trackers is that they're fairly labor intensive to install. You need a strong electrical knowledge if you're going to do it yourself, and you need to understand a vehicle's electrical system. Or you can pay someone to install it as well. There is a port underneath the steering wheel. It's called an onboard diagnostics port. And there are companies out there that sell GPS trackers that plug into that port. Very easy to install. You just simply slide it in. It has constant power. You don't have to worry about recharging it. And again, very simple to, very simple to install. The only thing about these trackers that I would caution you about is that if you're using this in a scenario where you've installed it either into, say, your teenager's car, and your teenager knows what it is and what it does, all they have to do is reach under the steering wheel and pull this tracker out, and it's completely useless at that point. If people can see this and they know what it is, again, once they pull this out, it renders it useless. All right, just real quick as an example, here's my truck. It's a 2008 Nissan Frontier. And here underneath the steering wheel, you can see the onboard diagnostics port. Here's the GPS tracker. Plug it in. And that's it. That's all it takes. But again, if you understand what that is, and you don't want somebody tracking you, that's it. That's all it takes. It's no longer doing anything. And just to show you how much is involved with this style GPS, I'm going to go ahead and unbox everything else that it came with just to show you how much stuff that, that is involved with this one.
you can see, there is a lot involved with this type of tracker. Now, this one does give you more options than the other trackers. For instance, this is a relay that gets tied into your ignition. So one of the things that this type of tracker, this type of GPS tracker can do that the other ones cannot, is this can actually turn off your vehicle through a text message. It also includes a microphone. You can listen in on what's going on inside the cab of your vehicle if you decide to set it up. This is the actual GPS puck. This is um, this is actually what you know gives it its location data. There is a couple things for installing these. You have to know how to install these because if you install this with metal over the top of this, it won't work. So that's one of the considerations for this. And this is your actual GSM antenna. Again, the same thing. You have to know where to install these because if you install this at a location where, again, it's covered up by metal and it can't see the satellites in the sky, um, again, the device won't work. I, uh, at another point, I may make a video on how to install these. If you want me to, go ahead and leave a comment up. If I get enough of them, I'll try to make a video on how to install these. All right, this kind of concludes my video for, you know, understanding GPS trackers and how to pick one. If you decide that you need one and you have any questions, please leave comments. Um, so far, it's been really easy for me to keep up with uh, almost all the comments on my, my YouTube channel. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. And uh, just to recap a couple things real quick, remember that if you decide to get one with real-time data, it's a cell phone. That's all it is there's going to be a monthly fee for it. If you don't want to pay the monthly fee and historical data still works for you, you want to get a device called a GPS data logger. And don't forget, there is the power requirements. If you're just tracking a vehicle for a short period of time, you don't need to hardwire the, the GPS tracker. You don't need to permanently install it. If you want to track the vehicle for as long as you own it, then you do want to look into getting a GPS device that you can permanently install into the vehicle's electrical system. Um, so for this video, I, uh, I bought these trackers just because I wanted to show them in the video. I don't need I, I don't need these trackers. Now I am probably going to make another video about this tracker and I will probably make another video about this data logger. So, this, um, this battery powered GPS tracker and the case that I got for it, which I think this was 100 bucks off Amazon and this was 30. I think this was 60. I have to go back and check the prices. I'm gonna put the links up to those, to what they are, and I'm gonna give these away. So, I'm gonna give them away to to two different people. So go and subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you like the video and go like my Facebook page or my Twitter page and I will pick somebody at random to uh, to mail you these this tracker and I'll pick another person at, at random to mail this tracker in the case for it. So again uh, thanks for watching the video I hope this was helpful to, for you and uh, yeah just come back and check out my next video. Thanks.